Welcome back to another painting session. I'll be doing, yet again, another cultural painting. I think I will stick with that name, maybe global painting, but cultural painting I think is fine. <clears throat> so this time, as you can see, I'll be doing a blue theme for today. And what better place than to do a blue, well, uh, a culture that likes the color than the Norse people. Of course, uh, video games have emphasized this, uh, this color orientation to the Nordic mythologies and their culture, but I think it is still fine nonetheless that blue, either that be the ocean or the ice associated with that area of the world, uh, will be well placed in something like this. So, as oh, put it up again, as you can see, there's four planets uh, overlapping each other uh, with a nebula around them and mountains over them over here. And uh, well, hopefully, you can see the sketch. Uh, there are gates, three gates that I will be painting. They're pretty simple, but I didn't make a definite border for them, so you can't really see a lot of them. So I don't have the brushes with me. So I'll just use this. Uh, and these two lines are my ranges of the, the ocean horizon, or water horizon, whatever you want to call it. I might start just in the middle or Depending on how it looks with proportions, I'll go the high end or low end. Uh, but changes are I will stick in the middle. This is too high, that's too low. So I may still stick with this. Again, depending on how high I make the mountains. So just with proportions and all. That is how I will organize this and plan accordingly to my sketch. I want it to be as accurate as I can. As um, I try to paint, or not paint, draw the best I can with my sketches so that I may replicate them. But with how proportions work, this is a bit too wide in proportion to this. So I will have to be wary of that. Um, anything else? Well, the gates will be brown. Uh, they're not just going to be dark blue. They will just be brown. Uh, trees, I'll have a spruce trees or pine on these two coasts over here. Um, tree line, I might do what I did last time with the multiple layers of trees. I think that was a good idea. It was a bit ins instantaneous, uh, but I think I will keep with that pattern, especially here. So, yeah. Be pretty slow going with this, but other than that, I think I'm gonna do pretty all right after this. I have high hopes, and hopefully, you too. too. You do too. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what I plan to do for the blue cultural painting. Hopefully, y'all enjoy the time lapse. I will enjoy the downtime between planets as I will have to dry them as I always do. Um, and I will hope, hopefully, enjoy the end product. So, I'll just get to it. Get to the time lapse. Enjoy.
and this is the finished product. Well, there's some things that I really like and some things I really don't. Um, <coughs> so if I cough um, a bit because I used quite a bit of gloss spray on this one. So um, I may get a whip or something. Like that. I'm going to have to cough. So uh, please do um, excuse me if that happens. I'm going to drop down now. So starting off with the things I do like. Um, starting up here, of course, I like the nebula. Uh, the comets are okay, but they're fine. Mountains, for the most part, they're really good. Except for the center one. As you could have seen, I had a lot of trouble with that one. Um, I could not figure out for the life of me how I wanted to orientate the, the, the slope tenting. Um, so I finally just decided to, well... I'm just having it on one side, and that's a, just what I did on that third go, but it still came out pretty fine. <clears throat> Trees over here are, are all right. Uh, you can only really see them over here, but there are three layers. Uh, the trees I made over here, I think, are okay. I tried something different technique with making the leaves. Um, you could. You can really see it like in this portion, right? This is where I used it, and you could see um, through the video. It's kind of covered up now, but what it really looks like. Uh, I also try to use tints in these ones with snow. Uh, it didn't really work out, so I'm just going to keep it with a silhouette for now. I think it, it's okay. It shouldn't be that much of an issue. If it is, then we'll whoop de do. I can't really do anything about it. The gates here, I think, I did very well on them. I think I did a very good job making distance and um, size proportion to them. Of course, the middle one looks to be closer to the near one, but that's fine. I don't really care. Uh, the biggest blemish in this. Right here a little dot there's a pebble there and i removed it and so it's there um, I, can't, I can't really cover it up with a uh, mist now so i had to deal with it uh, the rocks on the bottom of the gates can't really see them that well but that's fine it for these it just has to be there uh, for something else other than the wood uh, protruding out of the fog so I, I think it's fine. It really shines over here where it should be. But yeah, I think I did pretty well with the gates. Having them pretty arching form. Um, I think this ratio was the best. This was okay. More uh, circular, I guess, rounded. This one, uh, the nearest one, eh, it's fine. Not the best. I, it could have been a bit taller. Um, but I also really did not want to go and block the mountain tip. So I thought it was just a better idea just to close it off right here. I think I did a good job with that. I try to make it as center as I can. But I can only do so much, of course. And they're slightly off-centered. So, oops, that's fine. I think uh, the near and far one is pretty centered. It's just that uh, the middle one is a bit to the right. So, it's fine. Uh, the other issue is, uh, apart from this, and some of the trees are not well, a bit too dark, they blend in too easily, that planets, some of the planets are fine, but the texture is fine, it's just like, it's too dark. It contrasts pretty well, but um, of course it looks a bit different from my side, it's much brighter here, uh, which is a weird change of things. Uh, usually it's not as bright on my phone than it is in real life. So, if that makes sense. Uh, this one is significantly more brighter than this, and that, and that. So, not the best, but it's, it's fine. Can't really do much about it. Uh, another thing is, I did a bit too much paint here. You can just kind of see there's a little rim there that developed but well like i said 
only so much I could do. Um, with something like that, all I could do is like use not as much paint, but even still, it still it traveled to that edge of the stencil. Uh, this stencil, as you could have seen. Um, but all in all, I'll move on. So, the light is in the way. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to go and share. <clears throat> Alright. So, all in all, I think I did a very... I think I did a very good job. I was going to say okay, but now looking at it, I think it, that's really good. I like it because I... Uh, do I like it? I think I do. With the sketch over here, there is a bit of a change. The cannons are, of course, much bigger. Uh, the mountains are pretty much the same. Uh, trees is the biggest difference, and the coasts are much closer, as you can see. And I think that's a very good decision. I also didn't have uh, the three layer of trees or the mist. I didn't write down mist. I think I did a good job with that. It has a, a sense of a river. Um, because it's more narrow than this over here. So there's more of a something to go to. And with the trees over here, there's a path. A good, um, it's pretty center. But um, maybe like a few, I'd say like the most is like maybe an inch. But that's like, that pushing it. An inch off center. But even though, even still, I think it's it has the same purpose. Going through these gates, them gates, of course, are the, um, the item of interest, just like the stone with the rune from last time, the, um, the road on the orange one, and the Tory gate on the red one. These gates will be um, <clears throat> the idea, of the item of interest of today. I, I, I planned to have a, another room, but I didn't really want to copy off of the last one since it was right next to each other, uh, green and blue, of course. Um, but the tour gate and these three gates is a bit different. Uh, one, because there's three, uh, two more gates, and second is they have a, a different meaning, and they have a different form, so a bit different. So, I think I did a good job. Um, that next next painting should be purple. I'll be trying something new. Hopefully it goes well. Uh, if you have any criticisms or compliments I did not point out already in this painting, I, um, I encourage you to share both of those ideas and opinions with me. I would be more than happy to hear on both sides. And now, well, as always, it's mostly always night for me when I paint these, these things. So, when I go in, I'm going to ask you that hopefully you have all enjoyed today's painting session and the product of today's painting session and again i ask that you go into comments and give me some advice or criticisms for this work so i may learn more from it make much better ones than i have today and like i said that next painting will be in the same series as this one it will be uh, purple and pinks, as uh, I could not get a, a variety of colors to separate the purple and pinks. I only have three of each, so it will be both, unfortunately. Um, so I would like to have some more diversity in my colors. So I don't want to just be three purples and three pinks, it would be a bit dull. So I'll have them merged together to make maybe six colors in total. I think it will do just fine. And until that next painting, I hope all of you have a brilliant night, just as I have. And I hope to see you on that next painting session. Good night and goodbye.